In Manhattan, they also have what uh, some people consider a soft on crime prosecutor, the DA Albert Bragg. The difference in Manhattan and New York in general, you can't recall such officials, but the governor could terminate uh, his, his job. But again, no indications that's going to happen. Uh, we've got Ray Kelly, the former uh, New York City Police Commissioner, what he makes of all of this. Uh, Commissioner, great to see you here. Obviously, this, this pent up yeah. frustration that a lot of voters have, uh, whether they're on the left or right, they're concerned about safety issues and they think it's going crazy right now. Is this a reigning in that you welcome? What, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I certainly welcome this. I hope it begins a, a trend. But uh, Bodine, as other DAs, is the product of a very insidious plot on the part of George Soros. He started this in 2016. He's contributed through his various organizations to 75 elections. We know that at least 26 of those supported candidates have, have won. And uh, we know that uh, he, he, in a way, has succeeded. Look at the district attorneys and in New York, in Chicago, in, uh, in Los Angeles, of course, San Francisco. They're all George-funded uh, winners of the election. And what George uh, Soros did was use $40 million to contribute to these elections. And we know that DA uh, races are usually local uh, races, but he took a million dollars at least each of these campaigns, and it made a huge difference. And I believe he's going to continue to, to do this. So, uh, yeah, I hope uh, people are getting the message and that uh, this trend continues. But as you say, in New York, only the governor can remove a district attorney. Do you think the governor will? No. No, I do not. It's, uh, she sees it as being politically toxic. She's not going to do it. She's uh, up for her first election as, uh, yeah. as governor, so she doesn't want to alienate any group. Uh, it's not going to happen. You know, um, what's interesting, Commissioner, in hearing Bowden's response to this, that you can't incarcerate your way out of this. Well, give it a try, right? Because uh, <laughs> by not doing that and having a turnstile between repeat offenders where they get back out and, and do untold damage and crimes, uh, it was at least something. And we were never like at the crime levels we're at now in so many of these cities where it's out of control. Yeah. Well, he telegraphed this. He ran on a campaign of decarceration. And that was his, his uh, central premise. And, uh, of course, people in a very liberal city like San Francisco, even they have had enough. And you, you see this uh, happening, this uh, ejection uh, is just testament to the fact that, hey, you've gone far enough. And I hope these other district attorneys pick up this this message, certainly here in uh, in New York. Crime is up here, 40 percent. District attorneys uh, uh, are not doing what most people think they should do, including the mayor. Uh, so we want to see, you know, we want to see district attorneys prosecute. I, I don't know where they think they've gotten this much discretion. They have just gone overboard as far as uh, exhibiting prosecutor discretion. And I think, um, you know, I think it has to be uh, real back in. Well, this might be the first sign that uh, average voters feel the same way, Commissioner. Thank you. Ray Kelly on all of that. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.